Welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I'm in class right now. I gotta stay listening. Turn it down a little bit. Anyway, today I'm taking pictures for my 21st birthday. I was not planning on doing my makeup for this. Or at least I wasn't planning on doing a full face. I was literally just gonna do eyeshadow like I always do. But you know, I realized I was just butthurt that we are still in a pandemic. And so I won't be able to celebrate my 21st birthday the way that most people my age would have liked to celebrate their 21st birthday. And I know that like everybody else is going out and partying partying and stuff but I'm not because I want to stay safe and I want to keep my family and friends safe as well so yeah I will not be going out and having a 21st birthday party but I can still celebrate by taking pictures and actually doing my makeup because I was really not about to do my makeup I was not feeling it at all but then I started thinking I started watching some makeup videos and I got inspired I was like you know what let me do my makeup let me do my makeup y'all I have not done my makeup in forever the week of my birthday my birthday is March 26 by the way the week of my birthday it always rains it it's always cloudy, which is fine because rain's shower of blessings. We love to see it. But it's always cloudy and there's not much like, not much sun. And so today is Monday. This is like the only day this week that it's gonna be sunny. So my best friend and I were like, you know what, this is the day. This is the day to take pictures. But I just have the Fit Me pressed powder in 360 Mocha. I feel like 360 Mocha is a tad bit too light. I feel like I might be 362 Truffle. As for foundations, <laughs> two very different shades. But I'm gonna mix this in just a little bit. I don't know why, I think my mom bought this. And in the packaging, this looked much closer to our skin tone. This is like something I would use to contour. I tested it on my side here. They're both like, this is too light. So I'm gonna add some of this to make it a little bit darker. But we're gonna just have to finesse it. I don't have much time. Gotta leave in 30 minutes. So we have to get to it. Gonna just pump some onto the back of my hand. Yeah, so you see it was a good idea. Um, I put powder on my face to just kind of set my sunscreen and also because it's hot and oily and I want this to last. I don't have a setting spray. I don't have any kind of setting spray. So that's also a problem, but we move. I usually use LA Girl Pro Concealer to conceal. I'm only gonna do a little bit of concealer. I don't really conceal too, too much. Just a little bit. And while I'm at it, I might as well just put it on my eyelids too to get ready for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna let the concealer kind of dry a little bit underneath my eyes, but my eyelids, I'm gonna blend that out. blend it out underneath my eyes so I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. Honestly, when I do a full face, I usually do my eyebrows first, but I pluck them today and they don't look good. I did not pluck them very well. I usually use like the Anastasia Dip Brow, but I threw it away and I bought this LA Girl Brow Pomade and I got it in this color, which is dark brown. And at least in my opinion, it gives my eyebrows a very ashy look that I personally don't like. I want my eyebrows to be not like in your face, but I want my eyebrows to be a little bit more defined. And it doesn't really give me that defined look. Look. See, look at this eyebrow. This is my favorite eyebrow. This eyebrow is not is not giving. This eyebrow is my favorite. But yeah, I'm gonna just take this angle brush. I don't like it at all. I do not like that. This dark brown does not give. Like, look, it's it's giving gray. See, it's not it's not bad. It's not bad, but definitely not. My favorite look, this cover girl, like powder eyebrow thing. It's like dark brown, if you can tell. I have a black one and a dark brown one. I really like the dark brown much better than, than the black in that case. And that's why I wanted to get dark brown for my eyebrows. This powder kind of helps. So one, it helps set the eyebrows in place. Cause it's powder, powder sets everything in place. It also helps the color. Not bad. I'm gonna take a little bit on the top here. I don't usually do above my eyebrows, but I will in this case just because that part was too thick at the top. Okay, that's as good as my eyebrows are gonna get. Oh, I don't like it. I'm gonna set my foundation. I forgot to set it with powder also. Also gonna set my eyes too, because I have very oily skin, so my eyelids are also very oily. Okay, on to the eyes. James Charles palette. I know, I know, I know, but I might as well finish it, you know. I'm gonna just go in with, I'm gonna take these two colors. 
put them into my crease. I always use those two as like my transition colors. I start by just patting it into my crease first. Now I'm gonna go in with my concealer again to kind of do like a cut crease. I like a cut crease moment. There you go. I gave it a thumbs up so she knows I'm there. This shade right here, my outer corner. Um, you know what? I'll do this, this gold. So I'm wearing yellow because yellow is my favorite and I mean melanin and yellow, duh. Now I'm gonna just blend it out a little bit, especially on the outer V. Now I'm gonna go in with this yellow. You wanna just do a little bit of a pop of color. I doubt it'll even be noticeable. Kinda messed it up. I've never been able to make the yellow work. I remember watching his video back when I was a stan and he said that, like this is like a pressed pigment. So you gotta use like um setting spray or something, whatever. You, you know you gotta use like a spray, like a wet brush. I don't have any spray. And now I'm gonna take my transition colors again and just put it under my bottom lash line. And then take some more of the yellow to blend it into my bottom lash. I'm gonna also use some of this. My in the corner too close to that hopefully you saw that you know just gonna light my eyes no wing absolutely not i know we're not really doing black eyeliner but listen black eyeliner is a move sometimes like let her live y'all like let her freaking live maybelline full and soft mascara it's a good mascara i only use it because i have sensitive eyes so it's hyperallergenic also no false lashes because i don't know how to put them on and also because i don't have any that are like good also um my eyelashes are so curled like they're can't even tell they're really curled so i've tried to put them on before but it's just such a struggle that's it for mascara oh i have not done my makeup in so long i forgot it's just different between the brushes now i'm gonna take this and highlight with just that big big shade whatever i'm gonna lightly highlight not too much because this is this i Eyeshadow is really pigmented. I'm using not eyeshadow. I'm not. I don't have a highlight anymore. Dab on my nose, and then for blush, I'm going to just use this red color that's in his palette, just lightly. I don't want too much blush. Get this on my nose too. We're done. We're done. Okay. I'm gonna go get ready. Hey guys, here we are on location. I have my best friend photographer. You gotta be in it. I'll put a picture here of her face and see what she actually looks like. <laughs> 21st birthday, let's go. I have my Kente, Kente, um, what's this called? Fan. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, this oh you like just make it like a fast thing? Yeah, time lapse. So you, <laughs> I want thing. it to be, <laughs> yeah. I want you to face me on the board. Oh, I'm getting hot. She's a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> she can run away when it gets hard. We are runners, we are track stars. <clears throat> let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. Maybe more pedals? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, no! <laughs> I know what you're doing. I, I know what you're doing. <laughs> 
Oh, that was a good mask. Look. He's out. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> it still looks cute though, like, you know, like this. Not that. Hey guys, Posh is going well, you know what I'm saying? Come on, quickly. Okay. We're gonna walk a little slower. That's okay. probably, you don't want to walk like a normal street because we're not really walking. Yeah. Ooh, is that it? Okay, this is what my mask looked like when I got home and chow. I need whatever product that Jackie Anna was talking about in that video that makes the makeup not transfer onto the mask. But anywho, just took off my earrings. I have like this makeup removal thing that my best friend Andrea, who took the photos for me, she gave me for my birthday. But anyway, that's what I look like. This thing is pretty good. Wipes off the makeup real nice, real smooth. I just use it on my eyes to get rid of like that eyeshadow and the mascara and eyeliner and stuff like that. Now I use the Rada Rose Hip Oil to oil cleanse and take off my makeup. Double cleansing. Is is really the best way to take off your makeup you need to cleanse twice even three times too oil is a really good way to get rid of makeup because oil attracts oil and next i'm taking my quaint foaming cleanser just cleansing my face like normal 60 second rule pariana now i'm using it again just to make sure i get off all the makeup i'm going into my edges too because you know you put makeup up in your edges i didn't do my edges y'all i forgot to do my edges they wasn't looking edgified but it was still giving it either way like we don't need to do our edges for our hair to be done you know it was still looking good per anyway i just washed that off pat that thing dry pat that thing dry now I'm just doing my regular old skincare routine. Make sure when you do your skincare routine, make sure the products go down on your neck, okay? Because the neck is the first place that shows signs of aging. And aging is not a bad thing. It's good to age. But you don't really want to start aging when you like. But like you kind of want to just, just moisturize your neck, all right? Just moisturize your neck. You don't want to be 30 with a chicken neck, you feel me? But yeah, that's it. Taking down my hair, finna get in my pajamas and go to sleep. Are you going to do the closing, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Give me a minute. Keep talking for Okay, guys, that's the photo shoot. Round of applause for Andrea. Thank and for the beautiful model. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Twenty first birthday vlog. I don't think I'm gonna vlog because what am I gonna do? But eat. But you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this photo shoot. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Also, please check out Andrea's Instagram, her main Instagram, and her photography Instagram. They'll all be linked down below. Check out my Instagram too, Periana. Like the video, please. Like it really does help. Comment down below what else you'd like to see from me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.